So, hello, welcome back to another stream and another episode of the Self Development with Tactics podcast. Um, today, maybe or not, sometimes, to today we are going to talk about probably um, Beyond Order by Jordan B. Peterson. And um, amazing book, pretty interesting book, a ton of facets, a ton of different topics that Peterson is discussing in there, which is definitely something that I really, really, really enjoy and really like. And um, yeah, let's just go ahead, I'd say. I think that I kind of know where I've stopped, which is amazing, which really is, because most often I just do not. There we go. Um, it's a bit too big, I guess, yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, there we go, that's amazing, um, but perhaps he's not merely laying bricks, what calls you onto the world, however? The adventure of your life will frustrate and disappoint and unsettle you as you heed the call that is where the life that is worth living is to be eternally found. What calls you onto the world or into the world, however, to your destiny is not ease. It is struggle and strife. And yes, um, I have given you my opinion on that in the last episode as well. I do think that struggle and I do think that pressure and I do think that stress is um, actually kind of important. It really is. Um, it's, it makes you progress. It forces you to progress. It forces you to get better. It forces you to just become better at what the fuck you are doing. It is important. It really is. And um, it is, of course, there's negative stress. And of course, there's positive stress. Negative stress being like <laughs> feeling overwhelmed and feeling like there is no end to 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 all of the things that you have to do and you know having no rest at all we can go through that you know we can push through that we really do but afterwards sometimes we get into a space of kind of actually feeling ill or or getting ill just because our body is so overworked um, i actually gotta have to do some research on that because it happened to me very recently and i thought well um, is there actually some some scientific back end of of all of this of my my quote unquote theory? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, a bricklayer may question the utility of laying his bricks monotonously one after another. But perhaps he's not merely laying bricks. Maybe he's building a wall and the wall is part of a building and the building is a cathedral and the purpose of the cathedral is the glorification of the highest good. And under such circumstances, every brick laid is an act that partakes of the divine. If you're doing in your day-to-day -day activity is not enough, then you're not aiming at the construction of a proper cathedral. And that is because you're not aiming high enough. If you were, then you would experience a sense of meaning in relationship to your sufficiently high goal. If you have something meaningful to pursue, then you are engrossed in life. You are on a meaningful path. The complexity that composes you is lined up within you. Great, 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 great um, excerpt or paragraph or great lines around having meaning in life, why it is important and also how to get meaning in life, which most often is in our heads we create meaning or we just don't and therefore focusing on this fact that either you are creating meaning or you're not gets you into a position of okay i can create meaning in my life if i want to i can do so if i want to or if i'm just working hard enough to find something to find something in my head to just you know get to somewhere but yeah. Your life becomes meaningful in proportion to the depths of the responsibility you are willing to shoulder because you are now generally evolved in making things better. 
and um, it is especially worth pursuing when just trying to make something better for um, people not merely yourself but for somebody else as well when you're not doing everything you should be doing you're never satisfied but the thing is we um, we in our heads decide what we should do or we shouldn't do aim at the highest good you can possibly manage which is leading to struggle which is leading to striving which is leading to pressure which is leading to stress and this in the end is good but you're having a meaningful goal what is truly a reliable source of positive emotion pursue of a valuable goal you have a goal you aim at something you develop a strategy in relationship to that aim and then you implement it and then as you implement the strategy you observe that it is working that uh, that is what produces the most reliable positive emotion. This implies something crucial. No valuable and valid goal, no positive emotion. When you're not doing everything you should be... Oh. The mere fact that something makes you happy in a moment does not mean that it is in your best interest. That's um, definitely the case. You know, Things have to be viewed in a very macro way. Just because I'm drinking today... Does mean that I'm going to be happy tomorrow as well? That this act of drinking is going to be making me happy tomorrow as well? Well, um, as a set of experiences and as a set of different tasks and different activities of a day, um, it may make me happy as well, but it may also not make me happy as well. Um, I mostly think about pleasure then, when I'm thinking about things that make you happy um, in the moment, but uh, it's, it's not going to be good for you, quote-unquote good for you, in the long run. Um, so it is sensical to think about life as, um, well, maybe as a continuous chain of actions. I'm doing this, then that, then this, then that, then this, then that. And um, there's always going to be a tomorrow, there's always going to be a next action. And... Uh, well, is one action, is this going to, to impair my capabilities for the next one? You know, for example, when I'm drinking, am I able to work out the next day? You know, which is part of my life, which is part of this whole pot of things that make me happy. And of course, you, you should not, uh, it is good to have pleasure. It is also good to drink sometimes. Sometimes. Really got to emphasize sometimes, but yeah. Take on challenges at precisely the rate that engages and completes alertness, compels alertness and forces the development of courage, skill and talent. Does it grip your interest without crushing you? Does it eliminate the burden of time passing? We become stronger. Well, um, this is exactly, I think, what a job should be like. Um, time is passing. It's not crushing you. It is just fun for you. It's just... It should be challenging. It should not only be funny. You know, there, there have to be certain challenges. There has to be some stress. There has to be um, some things that you do not know yet. But but this is something to strive for. This is something to go for. Finding a job, finding something, finding... Um, in the end, basically also meaning in life. Through your job, through the thing that you're doing fucking eight hours a day. By maybe also thinking about what the greater good of your singular action is. I'm working on a logo, well, what might this mean for me? You know, for me, it might just be money. For me, it might just also be, be fun because I like it. But for somebody else, it might be an opportunity to, to meet their life partner. I don't fucking know. Like, there is really a lot to all that we are doing when we are thinking enough or far enough. We become stronger by voluntarily facing what impedes our necessary progress. People are commonly upset by what they did, what they did not even try to do then by the errors they actively committed while engaging with the world. There's another saying, um, people are more upset by what they didn't do than by what they do or did. Um, or they regret more what they didn't do than they did. I'm not quite sure about that. 
um, I would have to really think and write things down to to see whether this is the case for me as well. But make decisions in a smart way in the present. Be fine with what you did in the past because you can't change it. And with that being said, I'm going to see you the next time. So bye-bye and have a good day. Take care.